Alright, the botanic bots are made. Let's make sure we're using the right tool on that. What do we want to build next? We got weapons, so we should go hunting for Endermen, or we can make that turtle. So, we know we're. The turtles always have a diamond pickaxe, so. Pickaxe. Alright, so. Turtle. We're making this turtle here, which means we need to make this, then this. That's where we're at. Are we missing anything? We're missing the glass pane. What do we have for glass? So do this. Now you have the glass pane. Now let's go look at the turtle. Purple. Right, click here, here, do that. You have a turtle. Do this, do that, do this. Now you definitely have a turtle. And then finally do this. Now you have a turtle. Then we're going to go like this. We're going to name the turtle. Why do you want to name the turtle? If you don't name the turtle, label, set. I like to go with Bob. This way Bob will remember his fuel levels. All right. Lava. Um, you do coal. Let's make some buckets right quick. One, two, three, four, five, four buckets. Lava is a great fuel. So if you do, what's it, fuel? Um, it's now at 16,000. You can build a dark tower with this turtle. So, we have to go get a dark tower program for the turtle, which is where? It's on the internet. We'll be right back. Alright, guys. Uh, oops. There we go. So, I found us a computer program. That'll allow us to build this here mob farm. Let's double check where our chunks are at. So maybe let's go over here and put it. To F3 and G. Not sure exactly where the best place to put the turtle is. I don't think it matters too much as long as we go ahead and chunk load everything that he's working on. Okay, so let's, now we're going to put a double chest behind him. So 3 and G off. B. Glad you're enjoying the video. If you would kindly like, subscribe, and hit that notification button, it really helps the channel. Ugh, just grabbing all the wrong stuff. 
All right. One, two. No, why do you not just stay there like you're supposed to? And a double chest, because that's what the video said. And uh, I'll put a link to the description to the video. It's Kakaku. It's from 2015, 13, depending on which version of the video you look at. It doesn't matter. It still works. So, uh oh, label get. Oh, it's Bob. Thank you. I would have been very amiss if Bob would have forgot his program. A spin, get, control V, that's the code. And then I'm gonna, I want to call it something. I'm going to just call it a dark tower. All right. And then if I run dark tower, so we have these uh, screens. that you can set things some of course there's nothing but hold control D to abort the program all right so let's first want to fill these slots before they we modify them so we need uh, a lot of cobble two water buckets and some tor at least 16 torches and let's also make sure that this area where Bob is going to be building is also more chunk loaded Chunk already claimed. Um, nope. Hold down the shift key. And that way the mobs can also spawn on whatever gets... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's make sure this area that... Okay. Uh, just be extra persnickety about it. I'm the only one on it. I could increase my own limit, right? All right. So we need some torches. Torches. Interestingly, that is 16 torches. They're not stacking. There's something wrong with one of those torches. But they're stacking now. Self-fixing torches. Yay. Okay, and cobble. We have cobble out the wazoozies. Okay, Bob. Bobby, Bob, Bobby, Dobby, Wobby. All right. So, um, slot 16 is going to get that. And then let's just put all that in there. So 16 and 13, so that's 15 and 14 will be empty. And then 12 and 13 will have the water bucket. So that's 8, right? And then plus 3 is 11. So now we need, we need to put all that in there. And they said something about 10 stacks of cobble. Water buckets. All right. So that's the basic, not explosion proof tower. So if I hit enter for the next screen. Explosion protection. Replace cobble in slot one with obsidian or anything else that's explosion resistant. So we don't have obsidian. Or yes, we do. We have obsidian powder. So let's go ahead and make a stack. All right. 
and jump, be jump, be jump, be jump, be jump. All right. And then, of course, there's going to be a riff. So slot 14 should contain 44 cal, and we need uh, if that's 16, that's 15. This will be 14. This will be 15. So we should have 44 cobble in there. And let's get 28 ladders. And the beauty of the chunk loading and the server is, is that I could set the turtle to building and then quit. And then when we come back Sunday, this will be done. And it really won't take that long. It'll take about maybe two hours tops. All right. And enter one more time. If we want a creeper face on the roof. We can replace the cobble in slot 10 and 11 with other colors of stuff. Eleven. That's ten. Ten is a mouth. Thirty-two is a um, whatever. So. Let's replace it with something that we can see easily from the map. Obsidian. All right. So we know that that's slot. That is not slot 11. This is slot 11. Because that's 8, 9, 10, 11. So take these two out. And then slot 10 would be 54 blocks. And then slot 11 would be 32 blocks. We can split that in half. Now this turtle is ready. All right, looks like we're ready. So hit enter again. If you don't have enough of one block type, you may use also any other full stack of, right. We had plenty. Now this particular turtle did not need that pickaxe, but you know, we're going to use him for, we're going to use him for a mining operation in that other dimension. We do not need to watch this turtle build anything, and he'll be done eventually. I'm going to put this extra stuff in there. Okay. And he got his fuel. And I need to eat. And let's go ahead and hit B. How are we doing over here? Let's pull that stuff out. Where did we get gold nuggets from? Oh, that chest, wasn't it? Okay. So, let's get rid of this stuff that was up in there. 
I don't think we need that anymore. How are we doing here? We got shovels and things. All right. Now, when that tower gets built, it should be able to produce endermen. It might not if it the upper layer is not tall enough. Okay, so that's getting built. How are we doing on things? And we have an air tank. So we can we can go into water, no problem, but we're gonna need a boat because we sink with another right helmet. And fifteen minutes. Let's go shoot some stuff right quick, because that's what we do. I need, like, I need a cam I need a camouflage kit, right? Oh, we did this the other day, didn't we? There's a drowned. Let's get closer because apparently the water does affect this. Yeah. What did he drop? Oh, is that. I remotely put. That's why I didn't modify the recipe for the shotgun cells. Okay, let's go check out this ravine. Because for some reason, swimming seems to be a lot safer. I hear some mobs, but I'm also not worried about them. There's a glowy squid. So two shots. Well, there's a lot of glowies down here. Underwater exploration seems to be the best. Alright, so let's go back to our home base. Note that I've been ignoring the quest lines. But let's take a look at them just the same. Where do we stand on anything? We've completely ignored it. We still haven't crafted these... I mean, we've done all this in a different order, so we didn't get credit for it. When the Dark Tower is finished, we can easily do those repeatable quests. Create is done. Mass storage hadn't even, barely even touched it. I mean, the pack is very playable without following that stupid quest that I made my stupid quest
Look, see? The turtle steadily building because, you know, chunk loading. Chunk loading is pointless on a single player world. All it means is that if you go to another dimension or leave your base at a great distance with the chunk loading, things can still happen. But nothing's going to build while you're in, say, school or at work. You really want to play on a server for that effect. But if you're going to have chunk loading, you want to either have next to no players or uh, players that aren't going to abuse the chunk loading, like make a bunch of... Like, they're going to go, oh, you got botani pots, so we're going to make 2,000 botani pots each, so that every time something grows, you have 2,000 items. That's too much. You don't need that much. If we look, um, it's, we probably have some uh, cotton now. Yeah, we're doing great on cotton. And uh, we can make a ton of bone meal here. By just feeding all that into our composter. And I'm going to go ahead and call it. And we'll uh, see you guys next time. When we shoot whatever comes out of that thing. <laughs>